Alright guys, so I just wanted to quickly give shout outs to all those who bought my merch on Roblox. So if it's not real life merch, don't worry about it. If you want to buy it, you can. If you don't, that's fine. It's up to you. So we're going to start it over on the old group. Yay, I have funds now. So the first one was sub to or sorry not sub two was epic bui so thanks epic bui for buying the gold gaming t-shirt thanks blue j mare for buying the t-shirt uh i'm not gonna try and pronounce that name but thanks for buying it bed boys thanks for buying it thanks uh israel undertale for buying it thanks hockey liam for buying it thanks pokey youtube boy for buying it thanks staffs i don't know that's what i'll call you Thanks, 19KX Jacob. Thanks, OP Acid Boy 160. Thanks, Ye Oval are the best. Thanks, Scoopy Poopy Pants. Thanks, Sans the Judge. Thanks, Ninja John Rules. And thanks, T7. So it's like Tinkerbell, but it's T7. And then we're gonna go over to the other group, the main group now. Which I will link in the description if you guys want to join. I really recommend joining. So the first one was T7. So Tinkerbell again. Uh, Bed Boys again. Thanks guys. And then... Ivory Rams donated. Thanks for that. I like chicken. I bought a shirt. Thanks for that. So I haven't been playing islands as much or making as many islands videos lately because I've been busy doing homework and stuff in real life and islands just kind of got put on hold. No, I'm not quitting islands. I've had a lot of friends ask me that when I came on this morning, uh, but no, I'm not quitting islands anytime soon in the foreseeable future. Hopefully for a very long time I won't be, but we'll see how it goes. Um, Islands is suffering a bit right now, but I think they can still do well if they make some key changes. Um, yeah, so I'll be making videos, hopefully, on how to do advanced electrical I'm not gonna quit, but I'm a little bit bored and I think I need a break. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do certain games you want me to do, like how to make a game tutorial, how to code tutorial, how to set up a Discord tutorial. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know in the description. <clears throat> or in the comments, sorry. As of right now, I respond to all comments. Uh, I'm saying as of right now because there's so many big YouTubers out there and if you go on their old videos, they're like, yeah, I'll respond to all the comments. And then now they have a hundred plus thousand subscribers and they're like, oh, sorry, I can't hold that promise anymore. So I'm saying right now, I doubt I will get big on YouTube, but if I do, I'm saying this for the future. I am not going to be making... Uh, like, I'm not going to be making any promises, but for now, 
I will respond to all comments. Because YouTube has this thing where all the comments I haven't responded to, I can click a button and they'll all pop up and I can reply to them one at a time. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so this is... Well, there isn't much to this video so far. But, so I did make a game in Roblox. I'll link it in the description. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's got free VIP servers. And when you have a VIP server, you can own it for free. So basically, so it's a free VIP server. So basically you get admin commands in it for free. Uh, but only on the VIP. Otherwise you have to... Uh, be in the same game as me in order to get admin. Unless you have support or rank, of course, which is when you buy merch or you donate. Alright guys, well I have all the different totems here that um, are made out of stone. So basically, they are, um, they're, what is it called? They spawn stuff. They're, they're not... They're not like wheat totems or everything, they spawn items, so like coal, stone, iron, clay, that sort of thing. So, the first thing I notice is when you hold it out, it still has the old model in your hands. So when you hold it out, it's still got the old model, which looks fine, I guess. It's a reminder of where it was. So, let's start off with the clay totem, I guess. Then we'll do coal totem, then we'll do iron, and then we'll do stone. Right, so we'll start off with the clay totem. So when you upgrade it, you have three different stats you can do. So quality, where does it say it? Where does it say what it does? So quality is like product yield. So I think it's like how fast it spawns. So no, action speed is efficiency. That's how fast it spawns. Block hit damage when near. So when you hit something, for utility, you get it. You hit it a lot faster. So I'm just gonna max this out. We're gonna see what I can do. What am I out of? I think probably copper plates. Yeah, I'm out of copper plates. That's unfortunate. So I can't upgrade this any further. But level 29, that's pretty high. That's pretty good. We'll upgrade this, then we'll upgrade this. Oh, so I'm out of stone. So let's see what this is like. So 9% product yield, 35 action speed. 124 when you hit the rocks near it, and 20 action speed at night. So I can one shot all of this. I can't normally one shot iron. So if I put, where's an iron totem? Let's put an iron totem over here. We'll see how far the range is sort of. So you can see it actually grew like the clay totem. It got vines around it. Changes its, uh, it changes how it looks as you level it up. So it's like certain increments. So I'm poor, so I can't upgrade it anymore. That's unfortunate. But so the wheat, let's start with the wheat totem, I guess. Or let's do the wheat totem, I guess. And let's show you. Oops. And you can actually one-shot these now. I don't know if that's how it was, but whatever. Oh, wait. Let's see. Uh, here's the drill. I don't have a drill. Never mind. I was going to say we could do that as an experiment. So let's see if this is out of range. Yes, it is. So you can see... I two shot iron and now I can just plow through here at one shot everything so we told him we're gonna max this out on utility action speed product yield. let's just do utility that's beefy so the cool thing about having these is it costs coins quite a bit actually sometimes and eventually you're gonna need to like make copper plates and stuff I mean, those are more useful for like small farms, small scale farms. They're not meant for huge industrial farms, but they work. They're great. I like it that it has something different now. So when you break it, obviously you you get the totem back. You don't get you don't get the totem as a leveled up thing. Uh, magic to perform tasks automatically. So that's what the description says. They use magic. So if you break a totem, you actually get everything back. So everything you use, you get it back. So wheat totem is pretty loaded right now. Let's let's load it up some more and I can show you guys. Oh, so see there's different types of wood in here as well. And as 
and now it's got white bits on it. It's cool. So let's just wait for those to stop. Which might take a minute. There we go. So I'm going to break it. And watch, you get all the stuff back. So we told them all the wood and the money. And then you get the rods, the birch wood, the pine wood, the iron. There's a lot of stuff goes into it. Like, that's a lot of stuff. Let's do utility on here. And then now you can just one shot iron. It's really useful to be able to up that when you want to farm. So you break that, you get all your stuff back. Just wait for it. Wait for it to process. Or not process, just load. It's slow when you do a lot. So, iron ore, iron ore, iron ore, steel, 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 copper, iron, stone, iron ore. So it's pretty cool. I mean, this isn't a huge update and all, but it is kind of nice to be able to have totems like that. Um, that are just, it's better for new players in some ways because they can make big farms that aren't automated, if you know what I mean. So it's like big stone farm or something. It, can't, it doesn't have to be as big anymore.